Don't be afraid to admit that you're tired because it'll just, when you keep going and going and going like you're James Kirk or whoever, <laughs> if you keep going like James Kirk or whatever and then, I mean, we're in like real life, we don't have a bones as James Kirk, James Kirk. James Kirk affectionately called Dr. McCoy. We don't have a bone that can patch itself with a hypo spray and let us sleep wherever the heck we want. We don't have that. We we suffer if we don't actually take care of ourselves. So don't be afraid to admit you're tired. Because bones can't save you. As try as you might, there's, there's no Dr. McCoy that can save you and give you a hypo spray and let you sleep off the sedative. Don't be afraid to admit you're tired because you don't have a Spock that can reason with you either. You don't have a Spock that can tell you that it's logical that you, that you get some rest lest you crash and burn. So, I mean... Don't be afraid to admit that you're tired because when your body's had it, it will it will just shut down. So make the choice and just go to bed or sleep when you're actually tired and don't let the body make the choice for you because you don't have a Spock or a Dr. McCoy to save you. Alright? Don't be afraid to admit you're tired. Good night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Don't be afraid to admit the same thing. Don't be afraid to admit you're tired. Good night.